So hello and good evening or good morning everyone whenever you are watching this. Welcome to Racing League Cup Category 1 Round 15 Bahrain Grand Prix. So very sorry about the connection issues. We couldn't go live but uh, I'm now recording it and uh, we'll update and uh, upload this later. Uh, so before we head into this race we have three contenders for the drivers championship who are M Short, Justice and uh, Lakitu uh, who are not having really a great qualifying so far because they are not even here which is interesting and uh, I'm also seeing Kvyat in the lobby which shouldn't be the case I guess there are other connections connection problems I am having uh, if M short was here he could claim the title uh, but apparently he is not so it will be decided in the last race which is which makes things a bit more exciting uh, so to today's race is a 29 laps and uh, the expected strategy honestly was medium to hard uh, like the one stop strategy but uh, we are seeing many on softs almost half of the field as you can see and uh, the times look very spread uh, along the field but we have some reserve drivers from other categories as well maybe that's why but just as has got the pole position within very strong 24.7 uh, with Prince Killer on P2, Nermisil on P3 and Yerun on P4 so let's head into the race let's see what we'll see so as you know Bahrain is a very power dependent track but still requires downforce from the cars and of course skill from the drivers with its many tricky corners especially turn 9 uh, not very much in this year's game but uh, still very difficult uh, to master you know so let's see what happens by the way this is Katnai Joe from category 2 maybe some of you already know me and this is my first experience as a commentator and English is not my first language, so sorry in advance <laughs> for any possible mistakes. So we start with the formation lap, everything looks so clean. Let's ride along with uh, just the sets for now and let's see the details as well. And yeah, let's talk about this track. So first couple of corners are really tricky and uh, here you break about 100 meter board, you need a good exit and here of course they are weaving to warm those tires up I don't think they will need too much warming up with those soft tires, let's see the tires as well and here in this corner it is still tricky easy to lock up the front right tires and maybe one of the most difficult corners on the calendar turn 9 here down walls and it is closing as you go and here we have the third DRS straight and uh, after this section you break about here and you need a really good apex speed here and you need good traction to you know take care of these couple of turns 
you have to be careful not to touch on that previous inside curve because it's very easy to step in and it is very easy here on this exit to extend the track limit and get some penalties maybe and on the last corner you need both a good apex speed and more importantly a good very good traction because this is a very long straight and this is where the most of overtakes happen so people are slowly coming actually they came a bit too quickly still I see many drivers on the back people are getting to their places Oh, let's see, let's see how the start will go. Everyone is at its place, everything seems to be ready. It is one, two, three, <coughs> four, five flights and away we go. We, seems like Prince has a better start and it's a drag race towards Turn 1, Missile had a good launch from the outside and Prince is still there and yes, Missile got P2 We are with, we are with just us still and along the next turn Missile had a very, very, very nice start and he is right behind just us Behind him Prince Killer we see and people seem to have a very clean start as far as I, I see yeah everyone looks really clean so let's see how it goes in the front just as I'm still in the lead with half a second it's a little behind everything seems so clean I wonder how long the soft tires will go because well, as I said, the expected, the usual strategy here is mediums to hards and you can still manage it to stop with softs, mediums and mediums. But uh, you need to be very quick and, um, you know, you will need some really quick overtakes. For now, Prince is right behind, still Wesley is behind him. Taking the lead from uh, your own, there is something wrong going on with my. Oh, we see, we see Mr. Stepan. Stepan. I'm sorry, I missed that on the first corner. And he left the session. Something must be going wrong for him. Very unlucky. Very sorry. I think he had contact with. Prince, who seems to be in P2 right now. Ah, okay, yeah. Now the uh, timetable looks a bit more normal, but just as us took advantage of whatever happened. And now, as a two second gap behind Prince, we have Wesley from Yerun, leading from Sam, Daluka, Sinti Danger, Doa from C2 we have Yari from C3 I believe I'm not quite sure following very closely and Doa is a bit off well he's lucky he hit out the car on P10 I cannot see the name unfortunately um, sorry about that we have Shabi from C2 on P11 I believe He's uh, very quick on this track, but qualified on medium, so yeah. And uh, we have Black Mamba again, going for a move on Shabby, going to the inside, they touch. And both of them seem to be okay, they are still side by side, we have yellow flag, someone is off. He still seems to be off again. I couldn't catch if he joined back or not, uh, sorry about that. We have Jengiz and P15, let's see 
Let's see the position changes. Oh, yeah. Um, so, Prince is going backwards. I guess he had another incident. And looks like on P8, the Alpha Tauri had a really good start. Behind him, still following Doa, Dogarps. Some of you know him as. His name is Doa, though. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we see Simsi going for a move on a very, very interesting place. I think he will go for another move on the street. Oh, almost. The Alpha Tauri behind almost touched him. We yeah, of course have now the RS available for everyone. And we see a defensive move from Yari, but you know he is back on his racing line. So out in front, Yaron is still following closely, and uh, just as as is, you know, now made it 3.5 seconds. And let's go along with these two for a while now, or actually we can go to. Oh, something happened to Black Mamba. I don't know what happened. I think he is off. Yeah, he is off. It's too unfortunate for him. Um, yeah, very, very sad to see he is out on lap four. I think we we might accept some pit stops happening in a couple of laps. Out in front, we see Iran, and yeah, they are they are now in pit. Also, the leader, Jesus, is in pit. Looks like yeah, he's switching to mediums, and most of the soft starters, and yeah, they are now in pit. It is very early. I'm not sure if it was a good idea to qualify on softs because uh, mediums do well for about maybe 13 laps here and we have 24 laps so yeah let's see what happens some of them started on hearts like Doa and Jem uh, and I see Shabby also started on hearts it is probably going a little bit harder for them yeah we have a safety car uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Still, it's still way behind. I don't know what happened. Sorry, I missed the safety car. I had to check our Discord channel. And yeah, we will now wait for people to complete their laps. Sam is now leading and he's right behind, he already caught the safety car. Probably that's why soft runners entered pits. Interesting to see a Renault we have uh, on softs, fresh softs, which is, I believe, unusual. Uh, let's see if people have any penalties. I'm going to check our effective race leader. No, but Prince had an issue. Oh, he already has two warnings. Yeah, let's see how to evolve for everyone. The pack is now... all together normally the safety car 
when the pack is, uh, you know, bunched up. It doesn't take so long, but it will be interesting to see those on hard tires if they will manage to warm those tires up because for many years now in this game it is very difficult to restart after the safety car period with hearts especially if you have people like Justice Earth or Jeroen, Wesley on fresh mediums mediums are not also really easy to warm up but of course easier than the hearts so let's see we will probably see a really exciting restart so the fastest lap so far belongs to Justices with a 129.7 very very quick lap and by my calculations if the race ends like this of course we don't have M short and lucky two maybe we have by the way because I cannot see two people's name oh maybe like this can I see on this menu no still no. I cannot believe they still couldn't take care of this issue but anyway considering they are not here and short will still have the lead and we'll wait for the last race to see who will be the champion but now I believe we are restarting yes it is a very <laughs> late and tricky restart from Sam but we see him to danger very close and going for a move up inside they touch almost yes they seem okay but still side by side very very dangerous they oh 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 it is very diff difficult distraction there yeah since he's fun I believe yeah he had a bad exit out of turn two and three looks like Boa and Jam reserve their positions yeah very very close the, the entire field is almost side by side very exciting to see going into turn 9 very tricky breaking zone and also the traction afterwards so we see almost entire field is like a train we only lost Sinji Danger very unfortunately for him also haven't stopped they almost touched just as us by the way made up three places since the restart and he looks very quick on those brand new mediums on the traction zone they are very struggling on those hard tires and he now got P3 from Doha we also see Jam going backwards probably his tires are, are still not on the ideal temperature Wesley made up a couple of positions we see on the pit exit the Renault number 22 I'm very sorry I cannot see his name but seems to be way behind Yuri is very close to Jem Jem is really struggling that you see that yeah on traction zones he's really slow and now we are heading to turn 9 again yeah he's got Yuri behind is so close too close for comfort you can say I wonder if Jem has any other problems, but his wings seem okay to me. Yeah, it looks like it is kind of settled after the restart. I expect Yari will go for another move uh, on the pit straight. 
He also has seems he's very close to Big Bear, who is also a reserve driver tonight with us. And yeah, right behind him we have Prince. This is very interesting. Since and Prince both are very quick and overtake his own. They are all trying to defend. Block the slipstream. Prince is going for a move, I believe. No, he's not. He's gonna try the outside. No, he will not. Now we have the DRS and Hoodle. And it will be a yeah, very long train, I guess. And yeah, Prince is going for it. And make the move. Stick, I guess. They touch and oh. Oh, that's very bad. I don't know whose fault that was, but since he ended up in the wall, we have another safety car. Oh, I didn't expect that. Uh, yeah, the game is very generous with safety cars this evening. Yeah, and uh, since we will need to replace that non-existing front wing. Yeah, very unlucky for him. Twice after the restart, he he once spun in the first couple of corners, and now after Prince's move, he wants to stick with him and lost his front wing. Very very unfortunate scene. So far, we can say Boa is doing a good job. With Yerun behind, Yerun is probably much quicker right now with those new medium tires. We'll see how long Doha will try. Oh, he's going to pit. Very interesting. I think he'll go for medium. Yeah, and uh, I'm not sure if this is a really wise idea because we have 19 more left left, and yeah, he is. No, he yeah he is on medium. I I don't I don't think this was a good idea because like especially the last couple of laps, if he tries to go till the end, it'll be very difficult. Jim was the higher uh, wiser one with the hard tire. I think I wouldn't stop either. It is very unlucky for the hard tire uh, hard runners because. And the safety car is not what you need right now, you need to go, you need, especially with some fresh air maybe, you can go really long. But yeah, we'll see, I think the hard runners will, yeah, they will try until lap maybe 17, 18, we have two safety cars now and you can count those laps. You know, they don't really affect the tire wear, so I think if everything goes well, hard runners can make it up to maybe 20 laps. Still not enough for softs for the end of the race, uh, but they will have the best, the most fresh, the freshest <laughs> medium. We now have Yerun in the lead from Jem, Shabby also with his strategy uh, on P3, we now see Sam getting a penalty for a collision, uh, this, is, this always happens in safety car periods, people follow very closely, they or sometimes they leave too much space with the car ahead and the car behind getting really close and sometimes inevitable contacts. The game is also really harsh on these penalties, I don't know the official rules, but if you cut co a corner under safety car or you know, make contact with someone else, it is immediately 5 seconds added to your race time. And then we have Jeff Sess who also pitted uh, which I believe is a very wise idea and uh, I can say he will easily go until the end and uh, well 
apart from his already superior pace, he will probably, yeah, if everything goes alright for him, he is on the best strategy right now. We have Boa, as I said, I don't know if it was a wise decision to change the mediums, and we have Sam also on fresh hearts, Wesley also on fresh hearts. It is tricky though, you know, normally you would, with mediums you would go until like maybe lap 13 if you are really good with your tires, maybe up to 15. Uh, but now they had to change in 10 laps time and they had to make those hearts last almost 20 laps. And we have Big Bear on salt salts again an interesting decision uh, maybe it can be like you know when you're a reserve driver just trying out your pace in a league in a category uh, maybe sometimes you might want to see how how you handle or how you go and save the car period has ended, Yerun also wants to go a bit late, it looks cleaner compared to the previous one, oh in the middle we have many cars and they are, yeah, they had contact with Sam losing his, some of his front wing, Boa is still there with his fresh medium, looks like everyone seems okay, just as us. I guess made a move up and yeah looks all right oh yeah again we have big bear just as I was talking about him who spun after turn four I guess yeah and uh, yeah we also have yeah oh my god never seen anything like that what was that since we was on top of Someone rejoining really dangerously. I'm glad we got that on stream. What was that? I don't know. And yeah, it is. Oh, it is really hot down here. We have Prince trying to move up after his unlucky, let's say, start to the race. And we have Wesley, Sam, Boa doing a good job on the on those fresh medium tires just as says and Yerun already has a 2.3 seconds gap to Jen who is leaving a very long train and yeah let's see what happens here three wide usually doesn't go into one and Jen unfortunately for him was the loser in that very close battle and Doga, Doa already made I guess two places in that battle we now have Xabi on P2 leading the train 3.2 seconds behind Yerun it is going very well for Yerun let's see how it goes Xabi is really quick in general and yeah on this track as well we have Justices who is <laughs> already shown his pace going really fast really close you can say Doa and Jim and Wesley Sam as well they're all and Yari they're all doing a good job we now see Sam trying to defend but yeah Yari yeah got that position but I guess yeah um, we have the Renault with name I cannot see, number 22. DRS is now enabled, double pace following really closely. We will have a very long DRS train, like from P11 to P2. You see, just as yes, it is a very good move from him. And also ruined Shabby's exit out of turn 3 
and Doha was right there to snatch that position. This is going very exciting for the guys up ahead and it is going really in an unlikely manner for some like Prince, Simzi. Uh, but the race is long, we only just got the halfway points and we, as I said, we now have a very long DRS train. Uh, it is really difficult to follow closely in places like this one, for example, the SS um, with a tricky braking zone in the end uh, because the dirty air affects you a lot. And in some circuits, personally, I feel like uh, you don't gain what you lose on dirty air in the DRS zone, especially with this new game. Well, not so new anymore, but still. <laughs> Games overtake button and ERS management system, which is very strong, and we have a spinner, I thought. And yeah, no. Prince is going for a move on Big Bear 1975. And yeah, he made it stick. Probably Big Bear is starting to struggle those tires and trying to keep up with all the action the gaps are getting a bit bigger and I think oh we have another yeah and Simzi retired I guess another spin for him well it wasn't going well for him since the start very unfortunate EDNF after lap 15 we now have a VSC which had an issue and some of you, pro you uh, probably already know that you sometimes could gain some time in the car ahead but in this latest patch they released yesterday Codemasters, uh, I guess they, I mean, on the pet note, uh, patch notes it says that bug is fixed and yeah, it seems so, I don't see many dramatical changes, we have Vezzi and Yuri, Yuri is on a good run currently, he's going very quick but doesn't have DRS and yeah, Wesley went for it, but he thinks better of it. And back top. Sometimes I always say and believe it is wiser to you know, let go and uh, wait for your moment. Uh, let's see how it will go for others. Uh, you now see that. We don't have a DRS train, but Leslie has it on Yari and kind of a close battle for P6. Leslie, Jem, Doluca, the Alpha Tauri and Renault very close to each other. Also Prince is there and uh, Big Bear right behind them. I think he will pit in a couple of laps, we'll see. So let's see if we have any action on the pizza trade, but the gaps are getting bigger. Doha looks like he's in a very good position, but I wonder if he will manage to make it. And Jim now pit started on hard, both safety cars were a bit unlucky for those who started on hard. Uh, yeah, let's see. We will probably join on P12, yeah, and uh, yeah, very interesting race. We already lost, unfortunately, two of our drivers, Simzi and Black Mamba, who spun right there. And 
Yeah, but for for those who make the right call, like uh, pitting on the right time, like just as I did, and starting on medium, it is going better, I believe. So Yerun has the lead, though he has to pit again, probably in a couple of laps i wonder how his tires are probably he has the best uh, compared to others because he's leading no dirty air whatsoever uh, and if he's not pushing them too hard which i believe he's not because he's managing the gap though just as us is now 2.3 seconds behind it was 3.3 just a couple of laps ago he's going really strong on those seven lap old hard tires that he will probably take until the end within we have yari very close to shabby and yeah he will soon probably try to move and we have Alpha Tauri number 26. I hope it is not <laughs> who I think is the torpedo running Kvyat. Because uh, I remember I saw his name. I guess I mentioned it also in the video as well. And yeah, let's see. Following Baluka very closely and probably go will go for a move but he now has 30 percent left on his battery and the Luca has 25 and the Luca also has DRS so it will be very difficult for him to go for a move but we have Yari now going for it gaining on Chubby going on the outside now has the inside line pushes him wide but Xavi is still there is he gonna make it yeah he's ahead but they're still wheel to wheel on the next turn yeah Xavi had to leave it for now but it was a great battle and that we got it on stream and now we'll wait and see what he will he can do in the meantime in, in a period of just one lap maybe one and a half just as us is going for the lead with a 0.7 seconds behind your room he needs a very good run here and a good exit also a good exit in the last turn a little lock up from him but yeah oh he he got a better exit and got the difference down to 0.3 Yerun is not using his PRS probably and yeah he's going for the pits gave just as us some DRS for help and uh, yeah so Yerun probably had some tires in a very bad condition and now down to P10 and we have just as us going for a race beam probably I don't want to jinx it and yeah we have still have the Luca and the Alpha Tauri very closely and yes they are in general I must say people are racing in a very clean manner I don't think we will have well, at least up to now, very controversial incidents. Maybe, yeah, Simzi might have some issues. We now again have a little DRS train from P Yari on P3 until the look on P7. Probably Prince can join them in a quick. Um, quickly and uh, yeah 
So we now have the Alpha Tauri number 26 getting really close to Wesley probably will try and we now have a new fastest lap from just the test in 128 so when you have a DRS train like this it is very very difficult to be the car behind on the last part of that train so everyone ahead changes positions you are always trying but very difficult to catch up like leading that train is better even though you don't have DRS because even if you lose that position if you don't make a big, big mistake you will probably get it back in the next DRS zone it is very close in this midfield battle and yeah let's see we only have Boa and Chubby they will probably stop Jim will go to the end but yeah very unlucky with the safety cars and oh which is this is a new detail we see on that patch I mentioned earlier we now can see the penalties here finally someone was clever enough to think about it and now we see that as things are standing now Yari will lose that position and a couple more probably and uh, Yerin also has a penalty 3 seconds and he also has the fastest lap now the 128.0 from just the 28.9 very good lap from the room with those fresh tires so as things stand as they are now uh, let me check we have a yellow flag we have an incident we now have the Luca lost a bit and doesn't seem to have damage but probably have contact so if things end they are now justices will take the lead from M short with 186 points and we'll have a 13 point gap before we head into the last race and lucky two will need some great luck in the last race to win the championship it is still very difficult for M short as well missing this race probably uh, wasn't the best thing but uh, you never know and uh, yeah as things stand now <clears throat> as they are just as us will take the lead of the championship and we'll have a gap of 13 points and will be very in a very good position in the last race for the championship so let's get back to our race we have right now the unnamed Alphatari number 26 Kvyat I guess <laughs> is on the move and let's see <clears throat> yeah everyone has on similar tire wear I believe it will be difficult for Shabby I wonder if he will make it six more laps because about now probably he started to have problems <coughs> excuse me and uh, yeah he's losing time on on that S section Yari is doing a very good job on a race he joined as a reserve from let me check again C3 I believe um, no not, in, not from C3 
Yeah, from C4, which he dominated this season with a 80 point gap, already got the championship uh, with five wins in that uh, category. He and he is now having a very strong rate in category one. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the championship, some of the championship leaders in this race and we lost a couple not a couple only simzi from c1 and black mamba was also a reserve from c2 and we now have yerun very close with those fresh tires of course following number 23 Renault they are very close Jeroen is known to be as a you know you know that he will go for it and they touch I guess but the Renault ghosts uh, yeah interesting and now on the DRS straight Jeroen will probably go for it he he couldn't he doesn't have any DRS left his battery is on 1% but the Renault goes wide Yeron tried so hard but eventually it came to him very easy Daluko got the fastest lap with a 127.4 because he's now on fresh softs also Doha so as I said it wasn't a good idea uh, I think Sam was out for a moment and uh, yeah he's back doesn't seem to have any damage let's see yeah the end plates look fine to me so Doha as expected uh, it's an unlucky let's say <laughs> not unwise but unlucky strategy call is now on P9 and uh, we'll probably have really quick laps but we only have three laps to go with Justice as leading very comfortably ahead of Yari who is following from almost 10 seconds behind we have Wesley actually Wesley the Alpha Tauri uh, they are going really quick at this stage of the race and maybe they will catch Yeri and we will have a three way battle for P2 and of course the final podium position Shabi is probably struggling on those 20 lap sold hard tires and yeah the gap is getting bigger every corner we have Prince on 15 laps old hard tires going really quick very good recovery from him he was i guess on p13 at uh, some time in the beginning of the race followed by Yerun, who now has a 3.8 second gap from number 22 renault who is really struggling on those 15 lap old hard tires joined really dangerously and took Doha out almost probably yeah yeah it was a really dangerous rejoin and I think Doha didn't even see him coming on his way and very unfortunately for him he'll now have to change that broken front wing very unlucky scenes uh, though we had it on stream which is nice uh, let's see we have Doha not pitted not sure if it's a good idea but considering only three laps left 
if he can manage it with those new soft tires he can still get a point maybe two we have another yellow flag and our number 22 Renault is really struggling probably his tires are like really really hot I don't know what's going on he doesn't seem to have damage yeah I don't know uh, we have Shabby now overtaken by Prince and about to be overtaken by Yerun I guess he will probably go for a move we now have a three way battle Shabby goes for the inside through the ghosting Alpha Tauri Yerun yeah he hit Prince and probably will go for a move all three had DRS very close side by side wheel to wheel Yerun caught it back yeah and, uh, let's see how this battle will evolve we have the Alpha Tauri following Wesley very closely there I don't think they will catch those two ahead so for now we have Doa and Jen very close to each other with Daluka <coughs> leading those two and uh, but the exciting battle is here Yerun Prince and Shabi Prince made the move but they are still side by side it is very dangerous to go side by side there and someone lost it Prince lost it yeah it was it wasn't really a good idea to go side by side but it was a great battle and Shabi will now probably try for a move on Yerun who is on fresher and faster tires he has DRS some ERS to play with Yerun though has none so yeah we might see Shabi going for a move no he couldn't uh, Prince is yeah he this is his last chance to recover because we are on the final lap so uh, let's see just is yeah going for a very easy win unless I jinx it so we now see Jen past Doa Doa was very unlucky with that contact uh, yeah probably we will see some reports on that and yeah let's see what stewards will decide on uh, this three-way battle is about to be resolved but i am not sure if prince will be able to go for a move in the meantime we have just assess going for the win takes the checkered flag got the p1 Let's head back to <coughs> this battle here, Prince following Xavi and Kirun. Probably he won't be able to go for a move and also has a 3 second penalty and he's gaining, gaining, gaining. Oh, very close, very close. Xavi got P5 on penalty and yeah. It was a very exciting three-way battle in the end. We are very lucky to have these three really fast, really brave, let's say, racers. It was very unlucky for Prince who lost it and the S section with a contact. Maybe he should have waited for the pit straight to go for a move. But eventually we have uh, Wesley on P2, apparently Yeri had some penalties, uh, the unnamed Alpha Tauri on P3 completing the podium. So this is, yeah he also got the driver of today, this was Cotton Eye Joe, it was a pleasure and here we have our podium
just as has got the top step from Wesley and let's see the final results and say goodbye uh, with, it was a very interesting race with the safety cars and all but uh, eventually just as has won starting from P1 finished <coughs> P1 from Wesley from the Alpha Tauri I still don't cannot see the name um, Yeri on P4 with some yeah three second penalties Shabi P5 Yerun Prince Toluca Doa and Jem completing the point scorers tonight we had Big Bear uh, as a resort driver got a really good job probably didn't probably could could have better strategy calls but yeah he had some good pace Sam Nisil and again another car I'm very sorry I cannot see his name completing the race this was Cotton Eye Joe from Bahrain thank you very much have a good night bye bye